Kate Middleton gets hot under the collar after branded talentless and copy Meghan. Kate Middleton has been accused by royal fans for attempting to copy Meghan Markle after the Duchess of Cambridge announced she'd be reading story on children TV. Prince William's wife recently revealed she would be the latest celebrity to make an appearance on CBeebies Bedtime Story. Some fans have slammed Kate for allegedly copying Harry's wife, with one user wrote, Meghan reads to children, so copy Kate does the same. Sigh, please can the palace take her to one side and stop poor Kate from embarrassing the royal family like this? Another rudely stated, Meghan's copycat. But talentless. Another royal fan said that Kate had taken advice from Meghan who they claimed was more successful on the PR front. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have made numerous deals with global media companies, including Spotify and Netflix, since leaving royal working life. Kate Middleton will reportedly be reading The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark, by Jill Tomlinson, one of her favorite children's books. The Duchess said she chose the book as it reflects this year's Children's Mental Health Week theme of Growing Together, which runs until Sunday, 13 February. Kate Middleton underwent elocution lessons to sound more regal before marrying Prince William, a royal expert has claimed. The claim has been made ahead of the 40-year-old's appearance on CBeebies Bedtime Stories on Sunday, when she will read The Owl Who Was Afraid of the Dark to children watching across the nation. And while the Duchess of Cambridge was always well-spoken, royal expert Duncan Larkham says she didn't always sound the way she does now. Speaking exclusively to OK, Duncan says, I first spoke to Kate in April 2005 when she was on a ski trip with Prince William, Prince Charles and Prince Harry in Switzerland. He continued, she was always well-spoken, she went to Marlborough College College, she was hardly the fishwife in the way she spoke. But, having said that, it's as though her accent and the way she carefully speaks and pronounces her words have become more eagle over the years and morphed into what we see now. It's almost like her accent has changed in accordance with the role that she's played over the years. As a royal girlfriend she just had to be prim and proper and polite and she always was, she always smiled for the cameras and she always said very little when we heard her talking. She was every bit the prince's girlfriend material and, of course, now she has an accent that is fitting of someone who will be queen. Duncan adds that it has never been denied that Kate had elocution lessons, and that it is a decision she would have made by herself and not on the advice of the royal family. He continued, Kate is a perfectionist, she will look at everything about herself in minute detail so she's know exactly the kind of outfits that she wears to send out the right signals and are appropriate. She's elegant when she needs to be and mumsy when it's required. With that sort of attention to detail, can we really blame her for also paying that same attention to the way she delivers what she says? Imagine all the fuss we'd make if after ten years into marriage into the royal family she spoke more like Katie Price than Kate Middleton, he finished. A first look clip of the Duchess of Cambridge's anticipated debut on CBeebies bedtime story shows her addressing the audience, wow, what an incredible, encouraging tale.
to Marlborough College College, she was hardly the fishwife in the way she spoke. But, having said that, it's as though her accent and the way she carefully speaks and pronounces her words have become more eagle over the years and morphed into what we see now. It's almost like her accent has changed in accordance with the role that she's played over the years. As a royal girlfriend she just had to be prim and proper and polite and she always was, she always smiled for the cameras and she always said very little when we heard her talking. She was every bit the prince's girlfriend material and, of course, now she has an accent that is fitting of someone who will be queen. Duncan adds that it has never been denied that Kate had elocution lessons, and that it is a decision she would have made by herself and not on the advice of the royal family. He continued, Kate is a perfectionist, she will look at everything about herself in minute detail so she's know exactly the kind of outfits that she wears to send out the right signals and are a 